Lydia Guerra and her husband got up early this morning, driving down from Corpus Christi to see her mom. But what she didn't expect is that she wouldn't be allowed to see her. God's willing, she'll still be here with us, even after all this ugly stuff goes away. It's been two weeks since Lydia Guerra last saw her mom, and now she's not sure how much longer it will be. When Guerra showed up to Windsor Arborview Nursing Home today, she found this sign posted on the door stating the facility was no longer accepting visitors due to the coronavirus. We're from Corpus. Mind you, I don't care about the driving. What I care about is that now my mom's going to be upset because she can't see us, you know, and she's going to be, you know, she's going to be sad because she misses us and she wants to see her family and now she can't. She says the facility's assistant director told her these restrictions were put in place this morning. But her stepfather, who spends all day with her mother inside, told her they were only notified about 20 minutes before Guerra arrived. I understand. I get why you can't have people going in there. But had the decency and the consideration to notify the patients early enough. I'm worried about because, okay, they do this. Is it because somebody's sick in there or what? You know, what's going on? Guerra never expected the coronavirus would affect her ability to see her mom. And now she has no idea when she'll get to see her again. It hurts me because my mom's terminally ill and we don't know how much more we got with her. And to know that I can't see her, I'd like to hug her and tell her that I love her and I can't. In a statement, the company that owns the nursing home at Regency Integrated Health Services said they are working closely with local and state authorities to define a plan to limit the spread of the virus. Now, they also said that right now there are no active or known cases of the virus in any of their facilities. Now, as for Guerra, she did get a chance to speak to her mom over the phone, and after that, she had no choice but to head back home. Monica De Anda, Channel 5 News at 6.